Right, so I'm going to try with the entice of the 90 gram. Flipping out, it's going out a mile in this wind. Well, hopefully, they're about now. Yeah, I had another hit there. Shaking his head. Flipping heck. heck. Zipping some line out now. It's a good size one. It's on the surface there. That's a fat one. And the walker back's really big. Don't worry mate, you're going back. Okay, first uh, first bluefish of the day. It's a big one, pretty big one. I want to get him back in pretty quick, but yeah, it's uh, nice to get one on again. Having a go at it. I just put the slim minnow on. Oh, jumping. a little bit it's not a bad one but not as big as the first one but pretty good okay oh. stuck on a slim minnow because I thought there was All right stuck on a stuck on a slim minnow because I thought there might be some birds working for the albies down there and uh, they'll take both so yeah this one hit it I'm getting back in quick. Hey. Yeah. Nice bluefish. Good work. Okay, so that's finally one that stayed on the hook. Had two um, really good ones came off. Okay, so up to now it's been hitting weed all the time. This is non-stop weed, but just been walking up and down this stretch so I can find some a little bit less weed than literally as soon as I Found the spot without weed, bam, I got a hit. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Splashing around on the top. Nice chunky one. Okay, so it was hitting so much weed, it's unbelievable, every cast. And I was going to call it a day, and then I just walked up and down the stretch until I found the area where there wasn't so much weed, it was straight away. Some success, I've been here a while, but nothing. I'm just stuck on the pack in there now. I'm gonna give that a go. Okay, so, I just hooked up with a nice blue fish on the pack in there. Saw it chasing it behind, splashing. see it from here but jump right out it's a good size fish
watching uh, further up. No luck and a lot of weed, so I just came down here. And uh, yeah, I've only about five minutes. I stuck on the fat minnow and uh, looked into this nice one. So yeah, you can get about three really good jumps. Okay, it's done well this fat minnow. It's right out there. Or so out. We fish on, fish on. Chasing it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a big one. I would say that's bigger than the last. I guess. Watched him chasing it. That was really exciting. Just kept it. Just kept the lure going. Pretty much the same. Keep the lure right out on the f pretty much the furthest part of the car. So much time pushing top water. See something chasing it. Just get up this way if I want to come in again. It goes back to the bank there. But it's not bad. Hey, stay still. I'm going to put you back. Don't want that going in my face. All right, here's number two. I'm about to get him back. He's shaking his this hook around all over the place. So uh, yeah, I watched him chasing the lure. It was a really good fun. That let's get him back quick. Took him time, he was chasing that. Yeah, he's close in now. There he is. One, this next way it should come up. Surf him up. It's another, wow, it's another decent, it's a real chunky one, that. Okay, it'd gone quiet for a while. Um, so I tried a few lures around and then I went back to the fat minnow and boom this one was chasing it for a while It was so funny got time to start the camera even Yeah, it's getting back in but yeah really happy with that one Just put on the candle this a uh, little 50 gram pelagic It's really no mackerel Oh yeah, well no, The bluefish didn't mind it either <laughs> Just a little bit there I just actually I increased the speed a little bit and one hit it right on the inside from under that sandy ledge. Ooh, this one is jumping all over the shaft. They're still not ready to come in. It's just cruising along the, the drop off there. It's good to have a long profile lure. It does help, it does you know help you from being bitten off. Hopefully. Sometimes as soon as you take the tension off, they're off. Okay, I just had one literally on on this candle and it came off right at the shore and then next cast this one, so it must have been some going through. So yeah, it's a nice and again another nice fight. Let's get this one back in. Okay, so this has been fantastic uh, morning's fishing. It started out really, really slow. Oh, it's chasing in, it's on. I just put on a slim minnow with a foil cover. There was a good splash behind it. I tried to hit it a couple of times. Okay, he's jumping, there he goes. A lot of head banging going on now. That one's just leaping out of the water. Some fish you can see their teeth like barracuda a mile away. But these blue fish are sort of hidden under their lips. These are all these are all nice double figures. This is quite heavy this one, it's quite a chunky one. And uh, <laughs> I can't believe it, I'm having so much fun with these. This one took the chrome or the um, foil slim minnow. Let's get it back in. Get this hook out, that's the teeth. There. Up he goes. Him for sure, and that's where that's the danger. 
in heavy wind, but good bluefish is just ripping some line out. It's a good one. Been fishing about five minutes, I guess. It's gone down pretty deep. Coming up now. Really good one. Okay, lovely big bluefish there on the enticer minnow. Okay, just 10 minutes into fishing. Just 10 minutes into fishing and I hooked into this lovely big bluefish. We made up for the ones I lost the other day. But I want to get him back in as quick as possible. So, let's get him in. A load of seals have turned up. It's got I'm gonna get him in quick hopefully, but I've got pretty light tackle here. I'm gonna get him in and back out again as soon as I can. Right on the edge there, bring him up with a wave maybe in a minute. We're walking back. It's not a bad one. Okay, another few minutes. I'll say five minutes more fishing and I hooked into this one. I have to be careful, I moved down a bit. Well, because of the uh, seals, I'm going to get him back in now. There he goes. Okay, so one again. That was a decent one again. I'd say this was definitely bigger than the last one. The one on the water. I've to deal with seals before. I'm always fishing in the warmer climates. That's just a big one. Flipping heck. This way now. Put up a really good fight these blues. Starting to use tire now. Just thinking that hair, that's when the that's when one came out on one. That is quite big. The hook came out right as I brought him in there. Whoa! I'm gonna get him back in. Tom's having a go. makes a bigger splash as well, cast a long way. I've had some of the big ones a long way out. The quicker getting in, the better, the uh, stronger to swim off. Huh? Not bad at all. Now, I've got to change the leader with that one. Uh, it's already damaged the leader. The last one bit me off. So I put on a bigger lure. And then we have to put some more new leader on, get this one back in quick. Tweak bait with a pink skin, or was left of it anyway, just to try something different. It went a bit quiet after. If it goes quiet, it's always good to change over the lure colour or type. So, Ooh. oh, nice jump. <laughs> it's flying along there. Heavy one. Oh. I'm not 100%, but I thought, I thought I saw a seal hit him, and there's a mark across there. Anyway, I'm going to get him back in quick because uh, if he did get hit, 